Good evening, this is James, and I am fulfilling Eric Surf 6's request for a how-to on how, my, how I put my eyes in a fishbowl. Or a mixing bowl, actually, a glass mixing bowl. But anyways, first thing I did, and hopefully going to get this all done in 10 minutes, but first thing is I did is I took two clips. One of my face with my eyes, well, fixed in one place, or tried. I tried to keep them fixed in one place anyways, and one of me with a fishbowl. So I've got this one clip, and you're gonna get a. Hello, you're watching Eric Surf. Lovely, isn't it? Hi there. This may very well be the best challenge ever. Yeah. So I'm just looking at the camera there. Other clip. By the way, the goal of that last clip was just to keep my face unmoving in one place, and you'll see why later. Now this clip, just me with the mixing bowl, filled with water, and no eyes in the mixing bowl yet. So I've got these two clips, and however you do that, if you want to try to do this, is up to you, but got these two clips. And next thing I need to do is crank up Power Director. Now, first thing I need to do after I start up Power Director is make sure I got the working directory and the save directory and so on. Copied from the top of there. Paste, paste. I already did this, but doing it again just in case. Eyes. Um, I'll just call this eye mask. I'll just call this eyes. Yeah, that's what we'll call it, eyes. So anyways, we're in here, and we'll just copy or drag those two image files into image files, those two video clips into Power Director. And the first thing I need to do is take a screenshot of this clip here with my face. And so I'm going to drag it down there. You can see the preview there. And I'm going to drag this slider to some place in the bin point. Now when I move this slider back and forth, I can see my eyes bopping around a lot. And it's making me wish I sat my chin on a table or something to keep it completely still, because that would have made the next few steps a lot easier. So anyways, I'm just going to pick uh, some place, probably where my eyes are looking up, because that'll cause the fewest problems later, and hopefully you'll, under you'll understand why later. But what I need to do now is take a screenshot. Now this screenshot has to have my, well it has to cover basically where my eyes are going to be for the whole clip. So that's why I have to keep my eyes as still as possible, because um, I'm going to turn it into a mask, a handcrafted mask, which is not something that Power Director really supports by default. So I'm going to take a screenshot here, and we'll just call this Eye Mask. And I'm going to call it Eye Mask 2, since I already have an Eye Mask 1, or Eye Mask 0 out there somewhere. So this screenshot is going to be called Eye Mask 2.png. And you can see up there I've got imask2.png. And uh, actually, I dragged this clip down here just so I could take the screenshot, so I'm going to delete it now. Boom. And still got all the files up there. And I'm going to save this project. And I'm going to call it imask2. Creative, isn't it? Dot .pds. And let me just jump over to the directory here. There's the project file. There's the screenshot and the two video clips. And next I'm going to close down PowerDirector. And already up to four minutes. Gosh, I gotta hurry. Okay, let's see. Where are we here? Jask Software. Jask Paint Shop Pro 9. Now, Corel bought Jask a few years ago and they're already up to version like 12 or something like that. But I still use version 9 because it does what I need it to do. And the next thing I need it to do is turn that screenshot. Scary, isn't it? Turn that screenshot. Ah! Turn that screenshot into a raw black and white image. And this will make more sense as I go along. So the first thing I need to do is take one of these. Select tools. Don't know if you can see it so well. Free select. Basically, this is like a little lasso where you drag it around, whatever you want to select. And how should I cut it? Let's see. I'll just start with the left eye here. No, I got the eyebrow. I'll start over. Okay. 
don't want to get too much of the eyebrow. Now this has to cover, the area I'm circling has to cover where my eye is going to be throughout the video. Okay, that's one eye selected. And the next thing I need to do, I've got a menu option up here for Sentaku Hai, which is selection area. And there's one down here for editing. Yeah, that was the easy one. Now that turns red. That's the select area. Now what I need to do next is grab one of the paintbrush tools over here. And I get this little circular paintbrush here. And I'm going to use this to paint over the other eye. I'm going to try to. What the hell? Okay, why is this not working? Thought it was... hmm... Uh, maybe this should be white. That would make sense. Okay, now? Yes, okay. Right, I see now. So, when you're doing this selection editing thing, you have to have your palette up there so that foreground is white and background is black. And this might not make any sense to anyone who hasn't used this particular program, but hopefully you'll be able to apply this to whatever you're using. So I'm going to try to sort of cover the area, the entire area where my eye is going to be throughout the entire video. And I'm trying to leave out my eyebrows. And I know I looked sort of down towards the beginning, so I'm going to try to bring this down a bit. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. Next, I go back up to selection area. Oh shit, I'm already up to seven minutes. All right, this is gonna be a two-parter, sorry. So, uh, click that again, and it's just two normal selection now. Now, the next thing I need to do is go to the paint bucket, and I need to fill these selection areas with white, and I need to turn the rest into black. So, up here in the palette, I've got the foreground white and the background black. Got the paint bucket, boom, that turns white. Boom, that turns white. Then I go to selection area, and there's a option down here, control shift I for reverse, and that selects everything else. So the next thing I do is I go up to the palette, and I change the foreground color to black, and I dump black over the rest of the image, boom. Now this covers where my eyes are going to be throughout the entire video. Now the next thing I want to do is merge the layers, if I can. Merge all? Yeah. Now, how do I unselect this? Let's see. Sentaku no kaijo. Okay, unselected. Now, the next thing I want to do is blur this a bit. Um, now, the way I do that, how did I do that before? I go to Adjustment or Chose, and I go to Bokashi or Blurring, and I'm going to go down to Bokashi Gaussian, and I've got this set to 5 right now. You can see it's a little sharper on the left and a little more blurred on the right. Ooh, yep, there goes the zoom switch again. So I click OK. Zoom out. See, that's sort of blurred. I mean, you can't tell if it's the camera getting blurred or the image getting blurred. But trust me, the image is blurred. Zooming back out. The next thing I need to do is change it to grayscale. Just to make sure there's no problems with the image file later. I mean, there's nothing but black and white here, but unless you select grayscale, the next step won't work. And the next step is to save this as a raw image. So I'm just going to hit F12 to save as. And right now it's set to portable network graphics. And I'm going to select raw. Now what raw is, it's just binary data. There's no header file telling you what kind of image it is. It's just raw, pure data. So I'm going to take a quick peek at the options here. Um, header size, zero. And this is what I've got selected at the bottom. 24-bit options, interlaced, RGB, RGB, RGB order. Don't know if that matters too much, but it, it's what works. So click OK. IMS 2.raw. Click Save. 
Now the next thing I need to do is I need to save 